The dot product can be used to find the angle between two non-zero vectors. Angle between two vectors theorem. Cosine theta equals the dot product of u and v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Let's try an example. Find the angle between the given vectors. P is the vector negative 3 comma 1 and Q is the vector negative 2 comma negative 5. Well, we know that the angle between two vectors theorem states that the cosine of the angle theta is equal to the dot product of our two vectors, which in our case is P times Q, over the product of their magnitudes. So that would be the magnitude of P times the magnitude of Q. So first let's start with the dot product of P and Q. And if you'll remember, we multiply the X coordinates together and the Y coordinates or Y components together. So the X components together and the Y components together. So that's going to be negative three times negative two plus the Y components, which is one times negative five. Negative three times negative two is positive six plus one times negative five is negative five. And that value is going to be one. So now we have that the cosine of theta is equal to one over, and we also have to find the magnitude of each vector. Well, the magnitude of P is going to be the square root of negative three squared plus one squared. Well, negative three squared is nine, and one squared is one, and nine plus one is 10, so that's the square root of 10 is going to be the magnitude of P. The magnitude of Q is going to be the square root of negative two squared plus negative five squared. And that's going to be negative two squared is four and negative five squared is 25 and four and 25 is 29. So it's going to be the square root of 29. So therefore we have that the cosine of theta is equal to the dot product, which is one over the square root of 10 times the square root of 29. And in order to find the angle theta, we have to take the inverse cosine of this value. So theta is equal to the inverse cosine of one divided by the square root of 10 times the square root of 29. And when we put this into a calculator, we have inverse cosine of one divided by open parenthesis and do square root of 10 times There we go. times the square root of 29. And then let's get out and close the parentheses for the denominator. Notice we have root 20, we have square root of 10 and square root of 29. They're being multiplied together first. And we have to close the second parentheses for the division of that product down low. And when we do that, we get our value of theta, which is 86.63 degrees. So we have 86.63 degrees. And if we look at the solution on this slide, we did get the dot product as one. The magnitude of P is the square root of 10. The magnitude of Q is the square root of 29. And the value of theta is the inverse cosine of one divided by square root of 10 times square root of 29. And when we evaluated it, we did get 86.63 degrees. So our answer was correct.